Look, for example, what I see happening in Nigeria and the Nigerian churches is very disheartening. For example, take a church like Winners Chapel or Wood Redeem Church. You know, they are living by new projects. One project, this project, that project. So people are always, these churches are always starting a new project that demands more money, that demands more, always more money. A new project always demanding more money. It's never enough. That is what wants do for you. And, but at that same time, when they are building a, a new campus, a new school, a new this, a new that, that very time, there, at that very time, there are people in their congregation that have not cannot even afford three square meal a day. They, they are not even noticing them. That is what want will do for you. Want we we close your eyes to humanity. It will make you to be blind to love. So instead of you to notice the needs of your fellow men and to just know that you only need the basic things and all other things, let's use it to bless other people. If you don't have that mentality that that is uh, what you know life is all about, you end up uh, you know just trying to expand and build more and more projects and expanding, and you will lose yourself. You will lose Christianity. You will lose faith. You will lose humanity. You will lose compassion. You will lose empathy in the process. But when you have it as your basics basics as the foundation and fundament uh, fundament of your life that life is not about how much things i could acquire life is not about the amount of goods that i have just like in the in the parable that jesus spoke he said the man was making a lot of money and instead of him using the money to bless other people to glorify you know the name of god and to use it for the expansion of the kingdom what he was doing, he was just, you know, using it to build up his, his own legacy, his own estate. And he kept on adding more, more, I mean, he building more wealth to himself. And God came to him and said, I mean, an angel came to me and said, well, today your life will be taken away from you. Because you, have not, you are not rich towards God. You are not rich towards people. You are just thinking about yourself. That's because he's living out of want instead of living at for out of need